video number 10 in our 10 part series on ACDC Photo Studio Ultimate. We've gone through processing, naming, ingesting, uh, uh, developing, destructive editing, oh my goodness, uh, sending by email. What have we missed? Backups. Wow, the most important. And this is the one that gets forgotten. This is a fairly simple video. The process for doing this is simple. What I do want to suggest to you is there is nothing probably more important than you're going to do with your photos than backing up. And I actually really love the way that uh, ACDC is set up for backups. It's set up in, in a way that you would need different types of software on, on, a, on a different platform. So like Adobe, as far as Adobe doesn't have anything like this. Capture One definitely doesn't have anything like this. There are two types of backups that I do. Both are super important. One is the database. Now, the database is not your photos. Does that make sense? I'm gonna say it again. The database is not your photos. The database is the information on your photos. It's the tags on your photos, the, like the ratings, um, the names, uh, the IPTC data, but also super importantly, you know, we, we've been in the, the develop suite and we did non-destructive editing. It's all those non-destructive edits that get applied to those photos. That's also in the database. If you lose the database, not only do you lose all your numbering and naming system, your IPTC data, you lose all your processing. So how important is it to back up the database? I, you have the picture, right? Okay, so we're going to do that up under tools. Tools database, there's a great place for it. We're going to backup database. That seems pretty self-explanatory. We're going to create a new backup. Uh, do not include thumbnails recommended to save space. Here's the thing, this picture here, this isn't actually the image if I open up the, this is, uh, this is a, there's a better way to say this. This image here is a little JPEG of the raw file, of the raw file that's sitting somewhere on a hard drive, right? And so I can back, I can do an entire backup of the database with all the thumbnails, but that makes this backup really big. And in reality, if I ever had to restore the database, the database can go through and just go, oh, I'm gonna make you some new thumbnails. It'll take me a couple of hours, I'll have it ready. So I do not include thumbnails. Now backup of file type, I'm gonna show you a different way to backup uh, the image files, and then I have to choose my place for a backup. I'm going to browse. I want to use an external drive. I have an external drive plugged into the back. I'm going to make a new folder called ACDC database BU, all in caps, yelling all in caps, so I know exactly where that is, exactly where to find it. The name for the backup, ACDC backup, that works for me. And bam, there goes the database getting backed up. It's not backing up my thumbnails, it's not backing up my photos. I have a different strategy for backing up my photos. Now I can back up my photos through this process, I just wouldn't use that. There we go, database backed up. If I ever need to restore my database, I would, I would obviously be opening an ACDC that's basically empty and go in uh, to Tools, Database, and Restore Database. Go to that external drive, bam, I've got, um, I've got one that can come in. ACDC is going to remind you to do this once a month, once a month. Make sure you do this. Okay. Let's talk about backing up photos and that strategy. Okay, I keep my files on an external drive. You might keep your files on your internal drive inside pictures. Either way, either of those choices, your files are only on one drive. That doesn't cut the mustard, right? That drive fails. So I always have at least two types of drives. Now we, we can save to the cloud and, and ACDC has got a system to set up to save you to the cloud as well. I'm just gonna show you a way that I, I save to yet another drive. And, and one of the strategies that I have is 
I like to have both SSD, so uh, drives that are like hardware drives, and a spinning drive. Uh, spinning drives are magnetic, they're slower. Uh, magnetism tends to last longer than something that's just a piece of electronics that, uh, you know, the electronic one can bounce, but it can also get zapped. And when that gets zapped, it's all gone. Whereas a spinning drive, there's at least some potential to restore. So I have a set of spinning drives. Now, we had worked on in episode number two, we imported this folder of sexy hair. That is sitting on a little external drive on the back of my computer, but now I wanna do a backup of those files to my server. So my server is in a different building. I wanna back up. You, I'm personally backing up here to a completely different computer in a different building. You could just be backing up to another drive. I'm gonna show you how we do this. Up here, we go to sync. This is a super little system. I'm gonna create a there's our sync wizard. This is like having a completely other piece of software. Our source folder, it already chose the source folder that we're in. Um, there's my source folder, is D, sexy hair. Now this is where you would choose a destination. You might just have another drive or your, your source folder might be your internal drive. Right? We're, we're just selecting where we're going to send this to. Uh, I'm going to send to a networked drive in a different building and I'm going to put this, this was a, for a hair brand. I'm gonna put that in that hair folder. There we go, that's where it's going. It's gonna stop if it encounters errors and prompt for confirmation. And I'm just gonna go ahead and campaign sync. Sync sexy hair. There we go, and off it starts, synchronizing all of those files. So there's a whole bunch of little what's called like sidecar files. There's all sorts of files that it's going to synchronize between the two. And being a synchronized, synchronized set of folders, anytime I make changes, so if I go in and I make changes to one of these, there's going to be an update made. It, syncing is a superpower and I highly recommend it. Between those two backup strategies, uh, keeping in mind, we'll just go over it again. The database is the data for things like file names, your IPTC data, like all the properties of your photos, uh, your numbering system, your processing of raw images in the develop suite that's non-destructive. That is your database. The database doesn't have the actual photos in it. So I back up the database to keep all that information but I back up my photos separately. And I like using the sync function to do that so I'm not getting confused between the two and I always know that I've got two copies of the database and all my photos in separate places. Super, super important. That does it for our 10 part series. I'm hoping that we're gonna continue on and we get to do some deeper dives into all of these and do like a round two where we take you to like actual power user. You know, it takes, it takes probably, I'm gonna go as far as saying years to, do, to get really great at developing and editing, but certainly on media management, there's some things that we can do that uh, you're gonna learn from and grow and just make you better. Overall, my goal is to have you having fun with your photography and like me, the less I can think technically and the more fun I can have, the better I like it. ACDC is absolutely my platform for keeping my images safe and for processing and delivering. If you've got questions, please send them on through. We have a fantastic online community. I'm part of that community. It's a great place to, to hang out, share photos and to learn. And I hope to see you there. And I hope to see you in our next round of uh, 10 series where we get to raise the bar again on being an expert in ACDC. Until then, Get out there, take photos, and make the world a better and more beautiful place. Yeah.